Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Uh, split path here, so I don't know exactly what I should do. I think this level will come before these levels. I don't remember the exact numbering. So what I'm gonna do here is go over to this level. I believe this is a really annoying one, 7-6 here. Um, this is a parabeetle level sort of thing. Oh wait, maybe this, maybe I shouldn't be here just yet. Oops. Oh yeah, I can't exit the course once I started. So yeah, I'll just kill myself. So I'll I'll be back up here because I really don't want to do the levels in a mixed order. So yeah, six. I mean seven dash six is way off. And yeah, I should have just looked at the number when I went up there, and I would have you know figured it out right away. So let's go over to the ghost house. Ooh, spooky. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so. Yeah, we've got these boxing boo-like thingies here, and you'll notice that... Hey, let me get... Thank you. <laughs> and they punch barrels at you like Donkey Kong. Well, Donkey Kong throws them at you, but still, you get the idea. And uh, these are actually pretty solid ghosts that you can jump on. Three hits will kill them off. They, they kind of remind me of Charging Chucks in a way, actually. Um, that's the first coin, obviously, right off the bat. So no problem whatsoever getting it. And I believe this is a fake door. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, so I'm gonna just check around here, and we got a ceiling up there. That's not too good, man. Not too good. Whoa, 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 I know a secret. Come over here, over here. Yes, you. Yeah, I knew it! Uh, it's just because it looks like that you could lead that guy over there, that's why it seems like there's a secret over there. Or at least, at least that's how I, I perceived it. So, now we're going up some more, and anything here? I didn't think so. <laughs> I should have attempted to wall kick there, because I didn't expect anything to be there. So I should have been prepared to jump, but I failed. There's a bunch of, I mean a couple of blocks here, excuse me. Those contain vines. Um, you have to use that springboard to get somewhere else, actually. Um, hey, you guys come over here. Get out of my way. Thank you. Uh, or maybe you don't use a springboard here. Um, I actually don't remember where you use that for, if you use it at all. Hmm. <laughs> and that was a terrible jump. So was that. <laughs> uh, let's climb up and... S oh, this springboard we need, though. Um, let's grab this and take it over here right away, because I'm pretty sure I need this up there right away. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this, get on top of this. I wasted too much time already, didn't I? And, hey. and yeah, I wasted too much time. Okay, you guys, follow me. Come on, all three of you. Yes, you guys. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hit that. Not fall off. Arr! I'm playing like a schmuck. Well, at least I can get up here and fall right down again. Arrgh! Okay, let's try this again and not try and rush it because that might be my problem, actually. So, careful. Okay. So careful. And I guess rushing's not my problem. I'm just my problem. <laughs> One box jumps aren't even that hard, too. And I've already attracted the jumbo up there because I because I went up too far and spawned him. <laughs> Well, this is delightful. Okay, so let's go up here, and there we go. Finally! Now, I should be able to go up higher than this if I drop this. Hmm. What if I, like, plopped it over here and did a full kick? No, that fails. I'm pretty sure there's some... Oh, wait, maybe there wasn't a coin up there, but I got up there before, I'm sure of that. Um... Let me just drop down here one more time. Maybe that block contained the vine? Because I remember I was able to get up to that upper area a lot easier than what I'm doing right now. So I'm pretty sure I'm not doing it right. Okay, so... Boop! And there we go. And use this to get up here. Ah! There was a vine! With a prana plant that you can touch for some reason. Yeah, that I never, that never really made much sense with me uh, if with Mario games. Then again, Mario games don't make much sense at all. <laughs> Is that the, you know the piranha plants always come out of pipes and blocks and whatever, and they usually bite you and they hurt you and stuff like that. Yeah, you get the idea. And go in this door. Yeah, you can actually go inside this door this time. 
Can you believe that? I was stuck on that for a while. <laughs> and I'm gonna hit that switch so I can get up to this point easily. And yeah, those blocks are fake evil blocks. I mistimed my jump there by a lot. And I'm pretty sure that door is the only way out up there, because that... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can you go up to that upper right door there? I gotta try that again. Uh, yeah. Because for all I know, that upper right door may contain another path. So... <laughs> this shouldn't be too hard to get up there. I should just be able to, like, hop right up there like that. There we go. Ah, it is fake. Okay. That makes more sense. Anyway, I'm, I'm near the end of the level, as you can see here. So, this is likely a split path. One goes over to here, the other one goes over to the normal exit. Yeah, there's two exits in this one. So, I'll be back here for the second coin, well, technically the third coin, and the normal exit. Alrighty, we're back inside the spookiest house in the world. And by spooky, I mean we got the silliest ghosts ever that aren't scary whatsoever, so I guess this isn't spooky at all. Uh, though I guess if you're scared of horror-like things, the music might get to you a little bit. But I don't know, it seems more silly than it is spooky, I, I have to say. Uh, okay, so this time what I'm, uh, what I'm gonna do is it's, instead of going inside that secret door, I'm gonna take this upper door here. And just for the heck of it. Okay, that's a ceiling there. Because it looks like the camera keeps going up there, you know, like, keeps panning up, so I just figured maybe it's not solid or anything like that. Oh, I need something, I need something, I need something. This will work. And this is going to pop out. And I believe there's a coin. Oh, no. not. Uh, where is the last coin? I thought it was down in the shaft here. Maybe I was supposed to grab that star instead. Because I, I'm almost positive that the, the coin was in this room. Oops, I didn't want to, I didn't want to find the correct door right away. Um, oh, wait, wait, maybe this was where the second coin was. Ah, I was here. <laughs> then what was I thinking in that other room? I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking of what I used to think, like in my first run, because I remember in my first run I thought the coin was down that shaft, because I remember in one of the earlier ghost houses during one of those dropping shafts, segments, things, that uh, there was a coin down the side of them, and I thought maybe there was another one again. By the way, these crows, they're pretty annoying. <laughs> I just have to say that right now. They uh, swoop down at the current level that you're at. Like, wherever you're standing, they'll swoop down and try to ambush you, but they don't do a very good job of it when you know it's coming. But sometimes, if you don't, if you don't, like, I mean, if you have to hurry up, sometimes they end up at just the right level to sweep you. That's why they're kind of annoying. But most of the time, they're not much of a problem. So, let's pro Yeah, we should probably go over to that uh, Lake 2 stage there. Uh, uh, the secret exit unlocked that uh, red brick road down there that leads all the way around this uh, section. See that? It leads to a further level down the road. Uh, it's, it's like a shortcut detour thing, but as I said before, 100% run, not useful to me whatsoever. And uh, Lake 2 is not a very strong enemy when, when there isn't a scrolling screen. Like, if he's in a solid screen like this that it's not panning anywhere whatsoever, he's not threatening at all, because you can see where those spinies are going to go, you can jump on him and avoid him easily. His, his power... Like the angry sun in Mario 3, resides entirely on the screen, the screen scrolling. Or at least that's what it seems like to me. Anyway, there's these exclamation point switches here that uh, when you press, you get control over the platform and you can do something like this. It's really erratic, but at the same time, it's still very controllable. So, you have to get used to the speed of these platforms for this level, and you're going to have a lot of time to do that because this level will probably give you trouble unless you do. <laughs> so, here we go! And there's a lot of moving pipes here. It's kind of artistic looking, actually, with the way that they bop up and down in uh, different ways. I don't know why I think it's kind of like artistic. I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to describe in that way. Maybe, maybe it's because it's like a 
moving pattern that really catches the eye or something like that. And that's what usually really artistic things do, is that they catch the eye of a person or something like that, even from a distance, and whoa, boy. <laughs> a staircase of bullet bills. And yeah, I'm checking these pipes just to be sure I don't miss anything. And yeah, I'm not going to check the moving ones. And I see coin one is up there, which I'm almost positive I'm going to have to go back for. Ooh. Hello there, midpoint. What are you doing? Oh, I missed the first coin, I betcha! Yeah, I was supposed to actually stay up there to... Whoa, whoa, whoa! I got really lucky there. I tilted the control stick by mistake, and uh, I got really lucky, and I saved myself. Anyway, I gotta go back up there, I should say, go back over there for the next coin. That won't, I mean, the first coin, that really won't be much of a problem, honestly. Um, I want to do something like this. Yeah, I missed the first coin. Whoopsie. <laughs> I missed the first coin because of that, because I got kind of got careless there. And we're back over here, just past the... <laughs> As I was saying, we're back over here, just past the midpoint. The idea with these platforms is that in multiplayer, they're a lot more hindering because only one person is controlling them at the, t at the time. Like, you'll notice that the block, if someone else hit that block, it would change control of the platforms over to them. So that's the real gimmick of this level, is that... Jesus, why do I keep spinning? I think I get what my problem is. I'm... Instead of tilting the Wii Remote gently, I'm jerking the Wii Remote to the side, and that's causing me to spin as the platforms move from underneath my feet. And that's kind of a problem, as you can see. <laughs> but, but that's entirely my own fault, because there's uh, two different control schemes running... Ow! Running through here, and you get the idea. Let's try this again. <laughs> So we've got a staircase of Koopas here, you could, pro <laughs> you could probably do the one-up trick on this uh, pipe formation here, maybe, if you're really lucky. Well, maybe not, because it's, you know, moving up and down. You know, the one that I was talking about earlier with this, um, the staircases and the Koopas that you have to keep bouncing them against the wall while hopping on top of them. Yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, let's check through the stage and hopefully find coin number three, and then I'll be back for the first coin, which I missed because I I guess I didn't dare go by that bonsai bill can. Nah, it's just because I was kind of sloppy and expecting that I would be going back after I went down that pipe. But alas, that was not the case, especially after I hit the midpoint. I should have just suicided and then went back, um, not went back, uh, should have just suicided and then just went through the level again. Okay, what they want me to do here is use a bullet bell to get inside that pipe up there to get coin number three. Yeah! And this leads me... Wow, what kind of areas? Oh, okay. Holy poopers! <laughs> I was... I was surprised I did as well as I did there and got a high enough jump in the pressure I was at. And... E! There we go. This should lead to the end, I hope. And then I'll be able to finish off this level. So... Whoa, really fast pipe there. Really, really fast pipe. Yeah! Ugh. And... Let's go back to the beginning and get that last coin. And then go through the level again. I'll show whichever deaths pop up. And here's the coin. Would you look at that? It's a complete and total dead end. Well, anyway, once I grab that coin and then hit the midpoint, this level is as good as done. Because I can't lose the coin after I touch the midpoint. So I've pretty much got unlimited chances on this point to get to the end because I've got 95 lives. Yeah, you get the idea. So I'll see you at the end. Oh! Let's see what's up this pipe, instead of taking the other green pipe to your right there. And this is probably just going to lead me right over to the... yeah, right over here. And that's the end of the level, and I think that's about all I'll do in this part, so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.